Welcome to Bari. Nestled on the Adriatic coast, this charming city is a hidden gem in the Italian region of Puglia. With its vibrant fishing traditions, where you can watch local fishermen bringing in their daily catch, it's the perfect place to experience the authentic maritime culture of Bari. One of the most charming sights in Bari is watching local ladies making orecetta, the famous ear-shaped pasta. Their skill and dedication to this craft are incredible. These ladies have been passing down this tradition for generations. It's, it's a wonderful way to experience the local culture and enjoy some delicious homemade pasta. Of course, no visit to Bari would be complete without indulging in the local cuisine. Honestly, it's hard to find bad food in Bari. It's a foodie's paradise. From seafood dishes to savory focaccia, orecetta pasta, and scrumptious tiramisu, every bite is a delight. Bari has something for everyone. Join us as we explore the highlights of this beautiful city. Good morning from Bari in southern Italy in the, the heel of the boot. Bari is the biggest city and the capital of the uh, region of Puglia, which is the heel of the boot of Italy. And Bari is a place that you may not have ever heard of. It's not the most heavily touristed area, although that is changing. But it is a wonderful place to visit. It's hard to describe just what makes Bari so special. It doesn't have the blockbuster attractions of Rome or Florence. But its charm lies in its authentic, everyday beauty and vibrant local culture. Once you visit Bari, you will want to return. We've been here three times and can't wait to go back and explore more of Puglia. Wander through the heart of Bari Vecchia, the old town. Its labyrinth alleys are lined with historic buildings, quaint balconies, and bustling piazzas. Here, you'll find local life unfolding before your eyes, ears, and your nose. The smell of freshly washed laundry hanging out to dry, neighbors chatting across the street, women mopping the spotlessly clean alleyways, or making fresh pasta by hand right on their doorsteps. This is the soul of Bari, where traditions are alive and well. Okay, so I stopped for a little snack on the way to the fish market and have a cappuccino. This is one of my favorite places to eat at here for breakfast. It's fantastic. So I have a little cappuccino and then I have a croissant filled with pistachio cream. Those are so good. And I have this pastry. I'm not sure what those are called, to be honest with you. I can't remember, but it's filled with cream. Wow, that is awesome. And this one, can I open this up for you? I, can't, I forget what these are called, but they are so good. Mm. Mm. That is not a bad way to start your day. Buongiorno from Bari. All right, so here we have the harbor. The Bari waterfront. Some really pretty boats out there. And so here at the Bari fish market, and I'm actually a little bit early. Some of the fishermen are just coming in. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. And uh, I spoke to a couple of uh, gentlemen that were nice enough to try to speak to me in English. And uh, uh, one guy is a diver. And so he, he goes down and dives and he catches the octopus. And, uh, and some other things. And of course the fishermen, they bring in the fish. Um, and th so they're just coming in, they're starting to set up to sell fresh from the, uh, the sea. And I think, I I've got conflicting reports on this, so I'm not quite sure, but I actually think um, some of these guys actually cook them for you. So if you buy like, for example, an octopus or something, I actually think they will cook it for you right here. Some people said no, some people said yes, so I'm not quite sure. And, and obviously there was 
probably a little bit a little bit lost in translation there but uh pretty interesting they're beating the octopus they bring them in they beat them uh it makes them more tender and better to eat and uh so bari is famous for um octopus you can get octopus sandwiches and different things so yeah it's pretty exciting they're coming in and uh the day is beginning or actually their day is probably ending because they were fishing all morning and now they're coming in all right so we're washing some octopus here popo popo look at that all right <laughs> grazie there you go Wow, look at this fresh fish. Cuttlefish. All right, so I'm about to go in this Pacifico Fiore and get some of their outstanding focaccia. Um, so the way I understand this place has been here since 1508 and uh, it, it, they've definitely got the art perfected. It is so good and so the building's been here, they've been working here since 1508 I believe in the same family but their oven their wood oven for cooking, they replaced that about 100, 150 years ago. So the, the oven is new, but the building is old. So we're gonna go inside and uh, it's almost like a museum inside. It's uh, really, really cool. We're gonna go in and check it out and get some focaccia. <laughs> So that is St. Nicholas, and he is the patron saint of Bari, I guess. He's all over the place. Mm, look at that. Mm. Right, so um, I have my focaccia and I'm sitting here on the steps at this is St. Nicholas Church by the way and I guess the St. Nicholas of um, that we associate with Christmas fame and uh, so I'm sitting on these steps of this very old looking lion over my shoulder a couple of old looking lions and I'm about to enjoy my delicious focaccia fresh out of the oven mmm that's so good it's kind of like I don't know it's hard to describe it's almost like if you have if, you if you've never had focaccia it's almost like some sort of a thick crust pizza but it is like just soaked with olive oil and the tomatoes I don't know how they cook those but they're just like kind of blended in and there's just some kind of deliciousness let me tell you all right so here goes mm. Mmm. Mm. Oh my goodness. So when you come to Bari, in Puglia, in southern Italy, you've got to stop by Pensifica Fiori. Hundreds of years of history in that building. And they make an excellent focaccia. Okay, so I'm gonna walk down this little alleyway here in Bari and uh, these ladies set up and they make homemade pasta. The, I think it's called orichetta, little ears is what it really means. And so they just, they cut this pasta off and they twist it with their thumb and then you can buy it from them. I think it's like five euros for 
a kilogram or something I'm not really sure but uh, anyway so let's go walk down this alleyway and check out the pasta and hopefully we we'll see some of these ladies making it and some of it's quite pretty it's very colorful and unique so let's go see oh look how pretty that is one kilo five euro Hello. Oh, look at that. Super. Super. Professional. Oh, that's amazing. I need to buy some. All right, I got me some pasta. Look at that. Grazie. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> All right. There we go. The Pasta Street. And what would a city in Europe be without a medieval castle? And here you go. Bari has its own medieval castle right here. Okay, so we just ordered a uh, panzerote from Pizzeria Col De Cosimo behind me and it's uh, supposed to be really good people are lined up here so I have number I don't know I have number 26 and they are on number 21 now so we'll get it and we'll see how it is but I can't wait to try my panzerotti wow. oh look at that nice all right, look at that. It's fresh out of the wood oven. It looks a lot like a calzone. I'm not, actually, I'm not sure if there's any difference, but um, smells great, looks good. Can't wait to try it. All right, so this delicious panzerotti. It's um, honestly, I don't know, it's really good. It's kind of like, I don't know what the difference is between this and a calzone to be quite honest. I thought the difference was Panzerotti is is fried, but this place has two options, fried or al forno. Al forno is actually more expensive. They said it's better, and it is really good, but it's kind of just like a calzone, to be honest, I don't know. Mm. 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 Pardon my language, that is really good. So it has ham, mozzarella inside, and I, I watched him take it out of the oven. Yeah, it's, it's better than any calzone I've ever had, to be honest with you. I don't know what the difference is, but this is really, really good. Um, so when you're in Bari, come to Pizzeria di Cosimo. Here in this beautiful square, I don't know what this square is called, but uh, Bari's not that big. Come to the Old Town, walk around. You'll probably walk into it. If it's open, grab yourself a panzerotti and have a nice evening. You get a Peroni, sat out here on the square, and life doesn't get much better than this, to be quite honest with you. So I just uh, went inside the Basilica of St. Nicholas here in Bari, in uh, Italy, in Puglia and supposedly the relics, the bones of uh, skeletal remains of old, old St. Nick are in this basilica. And the story goes, uh, St. Nicholas is from, was from Turkey. And you know, the legend is that uh, um, I guess he gave away all of his wealth and went around the countryside helping the poor and the giving stuff to 
children, I guess. So that's kind of where the legend of St. Nick and Santa Claus comes from, I suppose. Um, but um, after Turkey, after the Ottomans, Ottoman Empire took over Turkey and Turkey became a Muslim nation, um, I guess, I don't know exactly who it was, but someone here in Bari wanted to bring St. Nicholas's remains to a Christian country. So supposedly they went to Turkey, dug him up wherever, I'm, I can't remember exactly where it, was, where it was he was buried at, but dug up his remains from Turkey and brought him here. So they say they're here in this basilica. And uh, I don't know, you can walk around and you can see a case where they have them in. Um, you don't actually see any bones, so. Who knows who is in there? I'm sure something's in there. Perhaps it is the skeleton of St. Nicholas. So I've been told this is the best meat in Bari. We'll see. With the orecetta pasta, the little ears. Mm, it smells great, looks great. Can't wait to dig in. All right, about to have lunch, seafood. Pretty busy here. Look at this delicious octopus. I think I saw the guy beating this on the out on the, the waterfront, out on the pier this morning to make it nice and tender. Mm. 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 That's delicious. So my table mate shared some of her calamari with me. Look at that fried up, perfectly fried, crispy calamari. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm. So good. Here at um, Nikolaus, the name of the restaurant, Bari. Delicious. Mm, sounds good. Yes. In this moment. I'm sure, do it. Do it. Oh, see. When you with the spoon, because it's very difficult now. Okay. Yes. <laughs> like <a> see. <laughs> Thank you. Grazie. Mm. Oh. oh my goodness, that's so good. Oh man. I don't know what to say. Nikolaus, tiramisu, pouring fresh coffee over at the table. It's pretty spectacular. Bari is a city that beautifully blends history, tradition, and modern charm. Whether you're exploring its ancient streets, savoring its culinary delights, or simply soaking in the coastal views, Bari offers an unforgettable experience. Thanks for joining us on this journey through Bari. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more travel adventures. Let us know in the comments what you're most excited to see or if you have any travel tips for Bari. Be sure to join us next Sunday as we continue our adventure in Puglia.